Push up. Oh. Ah! Ah! oh my god. Woo! Baby. Hello beautiful people, it's Shamie. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 10. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year... So we're kickstarting Vlogmas Day 10 in front of the Christmas tree. This is genuinely one of my favourite places to film, to vlog. I'm going to miss the Christmas tree in all of my videos. I feel like it just adds that like, mmm, hello Christmas, hello Santa. I just love it. So... Today has been a day that I've been looking forward to all December long because we are joined with, drum roll please, hello lovely. Yeah. <laughs> I love Merry how Christmas. festive you look. Merry Christmas, gorgeous, how are you? Good thanks. Good thanks. We've just been um, having a little chin wag on the sofa. We've got the matchmakers in the Christmas tree bowl out. We've got the little, um, which ones are these? Heroes. We've got the heroes out. Liam's there having brekkie. We've got the candle on. It's just been a lovely little um, cosy morning. We've got the fire on. We've got some buble on, guys, so don't worry. All the festive vibes this morning. And um, we're going ice skating, which is so exciting because this is the first time I'm going ice skating this year. The weather is looking... Kind of grey, kind of grisly, but Laura said um, that it's not particularly cold, is it, babes? It's quite mild. It's like, quite mild. I didn't put my hat on, which says it's not cold. Oh, that's a good thing. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I think I'm going to go in like a cosy coat and a scarf. Mm -hmm. Probably. I don't want to wrap up too warm. Because yeah. ice skating is quite like a sweaty, yeah, sweaty thing. Yeah, I want to be able thing. to see the floor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited though. And this is your first time seeing the apartment. Yeah. What do you think? I've stepped into like your video. And you're like, <laughs> it's, it's cute. I love it. And Thanks. I like how I can see your decorations. Yes. Yeah, it's much better in real life. If I could have all of you guys over for Christmas, that would just be a dream come true. That would be a dream. It's all approved for everyone. You've got too many subscribers. I've got too many subscribers now. Yeah. <laughs> No, there's not enough room. Um, I want there to be more room. If I could have this flat, but with another bedroom, it would be the dream. Yeah. Because it's literally perfect, like, space, space living space-wise. We just need an additional bedroom or, like, a little office or something. Mm. A little office. Um, but, yeah, today is going to be hopefully a lovely day as long as the weather holds out. So we're in a little bit of, like, a, a Christmas rush because um, the day is just flying by. So we're going ice skating at one at the Natural History Museum, which is very, very exciting. The washing machine has just um, gone off in the background, domestic if you can hear. <laughs> domestic, do you know what? It's actually Liam this morning oh. who did it. I was editing the video and it's actually their last year this year where they're hosting the, um, the gorgeous ice rink in the Natural History Museum. I've never been before. It was impossible to get tickets, wasn't it, babe? Impossible. Whenever we tried to book, it was like, nope, sold out. No, sold out, and we were like, oh, um, but we Hopefully managed. It's really quiet though. Yes. Like, I feel like not many people go because that is school st are still at school. Yeah, people are still at school. Yeah. We're gonna go during the middle of a day on a Wednesday, so hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. I'm so excited though. I can't wait. I love ice skating so much. Um, but first. We're gonna do a little um, Christmas gift exchange, oh, gift swap. God. We obviously did one last year, didn't we? Yeah, virtual. Virtual, which was brilliant. And actually, um, I've still got one of Laura's gifts, Pride in Place. I mean, I've, I've got all of Laura's gifts. <laughs> <They work. laughs> Imagine, I've thrown all of them out, bar this one. Um, Laura got me this for Christmas. A cup of tea and a biscuit. My Emma Bridgewater tray, which sits Pride in Place there. <laughs> Honestly, my friends any, know me too well. <laughs> Literally anything Emma Bridgewater and I'll be in tears, I'll be happy. What else did you get me? My um Udi, yeah. my blanket, you wrapped presents up in your wrapping in oh your my face. Goodness, my face. Oh, good like times. There is any like this year, sorry. That's alright, babe. Honestly, this year. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say this year I get to see you in person and we get to do all mm. have a nice little friend day for Christmas. Yeah. Woo. Okay, do you wanna, should we set the camera up and okay. let's um, exchange some presents? It's gonna be quite a, like a, a quick 
un unwrapping, isn't it? But you've only got three presents from me. Okay, that's fine. I like that because I don't like opening presents. Oh no, neither do I. Neither do I get very nervous. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yours are so random. I'm scared. No, I'm yours scared are so random. Oh wait, where are your gifts? Oh, uh, they're underneath the tree. Underneath the tree. Oh, sorry, that's my hat. That it didn't, feels like oh, Christmas. Didn't need my hat. That is lovely. Because it has a hair on it. <laughs> It's like a dark brown. Isn't it a lovely colour? I want one. Try it on, it might fit. Are you wearing this today? Well, if it gets cold, yeah. I want to wear this today. Isn't it cosy? That's this, I'm I'm wearing this. That Is feel? this a Christmas present? I wish it was. <laughs> yeah, innit? I'd be so happy. A chocolate brown little beanie. How cute is that? I'm wearing this. Thanks, Laura. No problem. You're um, just a gift I'm giving. Oh, uh, how many presents have you got? Um, quite a few little ones. And then this is you and Liam. <gasps> a what? What'd you say? I can't hear because I've got a hat on. <laughs> you and Liam. Oh, you and so Liam. Liam will have to come down too. Oh my god, okay. I'm not camera ready. <laughs> Shall we do the Liam and me first? Yeah, do that one first. Okay. So I'll go out of shop. Bye everyone. Christmas day. And can we all appreciate, sorry Liam, I'll just turn it off, yeah. Um, it's in an Emma Bridgewater box. Woo. I love it. I'm gonna just pop that under the tree. I like your nails, Laura. Well, I'm annoyed. My mum said I had a white gel. Did I have a white? No, I was like, Mum, I wanted to do Santa. Oh. She told me I had a white. There you go. Ooh, festive. Festive. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas from Laura's Nails to you. No, I've it down. Oh, I wonder if it's the right way. <gasps> oh, oh, Laura! Oh. That's so cute. That is adorable. Isn't it? Oh my God, I mean, it's not like a decorate. I don't feel like it's a tree decoration. I feel like it's somewhere like to put on like the side. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I can hang it from the plant. Believe. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a little wooden decoration and it says first Christmas in our new home 2021. Yeah. Thanks, babe. No, we'll try and find somewhere for it. Oh, oh. I should have put my news as well. Oh my god, chocolate shavings. Oh, oh. Yeah. How cute are these? Oh, you really hard to get the sticker off, so you like the water. Like little yeah. washer, no, very little I hate you put, like, yeah. in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. And they're handmade. Oh, I'm thinking Laura. a nice little Bailey's with ice. Oh, yeah. You can make cocktails. Yeah, I've got a little cocktail shake. Yeah. We've got little, um, lovely little glasses with the J and the L on them. Thanks, Laura. Thanks, Laura. Yeah. And in a beautiful Emma Bridgewater box, might I add. Ooh. So I recognise this little bag. <laughs> like your porridge or your yeah. like tea or hot chocolate. Oh that's so cute. It, I love like, that. Keeps it warm. Oh. <laughs> Cool are they though? Yeah. I saw it and I was like, oh my god, Laura needs this. That's so cute. And I, I hate it when my drink goes cold. In it? Yeah. In it, yeah. Because I can't have it really warm, so then I have to wait for it to cool down, and then I wait a little bit too long and then it's cold, and I'm like, oh. I can take it to a coffee shop when I work and it can stay hot for <laughs> Oh, oh, look at this. Little decoration. I'm keeping that. Do you have it? No, I don't know what this is, but I don't have it. I think I know what it is. Oh my god, I've waited for it Have you not got it? No, we don't yeah. have it! <laughs> no, but Liam has wanted one of these for so long. <laughs> You'll be able to watch back one of my old vlogs. Yeah, I remember because we were trying to find one once for you and I was like, oh, and I was like, I was like, oh my god, it's there. And I was like, I hope he hasn't got it. No, I like, no, just it. put our one in the wash as well. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Guys, it's like a bath mat and oh it says God, get naked on it. How fab. And all the ones I did find were like ugly. Like, mm. just yeah, but it's Tatty. really like thick as yeah, well. Yeah, that is so soft. Feel how soft that is, babe. Ooh. That's going to be nice now, little titsies in the bathroom. All the ones that like, I found were like that flannel-y material. Oh, yeah, quite yeah. thin. It's Christmas for both of us. should have put it in the box as well. Yeah, yeah. Guys, <laughs> it's an average water bag. <laughs> And this is ever bridge water tissue paper. Stop it. How many shots did you have to go in to get? TK Maxx had it all. I was like, yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, Laura. Yeah, but they're really little things. Guys, look in this bag. Look how lovely that is. Oh my god, okay. Okay, that one you can open. That's sort of like for now until Christmas. So I thought I want to get something like festive, but not so really festive really because it won't. Really festive. Last. It's, yeah, because yeah. it's like next week. Next week. No, man. <gasps> that smells unreal, and I haven't even opened it. 
Oh, How cute! Laura, I love this so much. Look, it's got a little gingerbread. It's a little gingerbread candle. I, did, I was going to get you a big one. I was like, well, he's not going to use it. And then by the new year, you don't want... Do you know what? I've Thank actually you. been after a small candle like this for the bathroom. Like a Christmassy one. I decked out your bathroom. There you go. <laughs> We've basically got a new bathroom. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Orange white chocolate minis. Delicious. Oh, thanks, babe. Okay, and then this one's really random. Like, really random. But I was like, I had like so much left. And I was like, what on earth can I get? And then I saw this, I was like, kind of random, but yeah. You've done so well with your budget. Oh, I do well with my budget. We have a budget every year, don't we? Mm -hmm. Of like 20, 25 pounds. You always, this yeah, you so always fun. do very, very well. What is this? This is so random. <laughs> it's a fridge camera. So when we're shopping and we were like, we're always like, oh, do we have that in the fridge? We can see. Is that random? I can see Jamie's one in the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Laura, that is probably one of the best gifts I've ever been given. That is so oh, good. Really that is not. brilliant. Thank you so much. A fridge oh, camera. Oh, this is cute wrapping paper. Ooh. Oh, it kind of goes with. This is my outfit. Ooh. Ooh, what is it? Oh my God, is this what I think it is? I wanted one of these so badly. Stop it. So my mum got me a big one for my birthday. Yeah. And I was like, I need one for when I travel as well. For like when I go places, I always have my rings everywhere. Yeah. Oh my God, this is the best. I just thought the brown level was lovely. It's very yeah, you. Yeah, I love um, the look of it. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I like the little pocket. Yeah. This is the nicest one I've seen. Oh, that's oh so God. good. I'm so glad I've got one of these Because now. I was like, because I bought it around the time that you were in Edinburgh mm -hmm. with your mum. And yeah. I was like, oh my God, this would be such a nice gift for when she like travels. Because yeah. you do a lot of it. Mm -hmm. And also I thought we could go away. We're probably going to go away. Yeah, we need year, to. Yeah. So we can use it. And yeah. I said we, you could use it. <laughs> I'll, I'll be with you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. This is like the best. Oh, oh, I know what this is. I was literally about to say, every, every time I get something in bubble wrap, I think it's a mug. And I just look at Liam and I'm like, he's going to be so annoyed. <laughs> My mug collection will forever expand. Yeah. And a, a season won't go by without me buying a new mug. What mug is this? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> look at it. Wait, I've seen this. <laughs> so a bit of a story time, guys. Um, I bought this mug for myself a couple of months back and I showed Laura I was like oh my god Laura I just or did, did you watch yeah, it in I a vlog, it in vlog yeah. I put it in a vlog and Laura was like Jamie I've just watched your vlog and I bought you this mug for Christmas <laughs> so I returned it and I've been looking forward to getting this mug ever since it's such a cute mug it's so cute thanks babe it's okay goes well with my um my orange minis a nice yeah. little a uh, cup of tea with my orange minis. This one isn't Ooh. wrapped, it's just in a box. So That's take your time box. opening it. <laughs> oh god, it's heavy. I'm like, what is it? Isn't that cute? That is lovely. That is such a me thing yeah, as well. Yeah, I know. Isn't it cute? I love that law. He was like, what is it? <laughs> what? It's a little poster which says 11-11, make a wish. Oh. And that, that's such a me thing. Yeah, so I'm always posting on my story like, oh my god, I've just seen 11-11. Yeah. It's a sign. Isn't it's it an cute? angel number. Now every time you look at it, you can go, I can make a wish. Just I can make a wish, it. yeah. <laughs> I need now a frame to put it up somewhere. I love the minimal vibe as well. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Oh, thank you so much, babe. It's okay. Oh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And then your yeah. last gift. Ooh. Oh my God, this is so cute. <laughs> oh my God. That is so freaking cute. How lovely is that? I've never seen this colour. Have you not? Before in my life, no. I was, it, I was gonna get you either the red one or like the dark pink, but I thought the dark pink yeah. was gorgeous. Oh my God, I love that. I, I just hope you make, it. I don't know what you put in it, pies? I'll make myself a heart pie. A heart pie? I suppose you can put anything you can in it. You can put anything in it, I suppose. Even if you'd like use it as like a serving bowl. What do people have them? Oats and... Oh yeah, yeah like morning oats. Porridge in it. Porridge. I could, I could just eat a bowl of chocolate in it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> 
double hug. Thank you so oh, much for my gift. I love everything. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, thank you. No, thank you, babes. Look at all the mess, guys. We need to run because uh, we've only got, what's the time? It's 11 past 12. Oh. Okay, let's go. We are running to our um, slot for the ice skating rink. So we booked it from one till two, and uh, it's currently 10 past one. So the tubes were a little bit delayed. We were a little bit delayed. We didn't expect our Christmas present opening gift swap to take so long, but um, we just got carried away as normal. We really did. So we're now running under the tube to get to um, the Natural History Museum ice rink. We're literally a couple minutes away, so we're not hugely late. No point worrying, nothing we can do about it. We're gonna go. Yeah, we're like underneath, underneath Kensington. How lovely. Natural History Museum. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, look at that! Oh, perfect! Let's find our way to the ice rink. Guys, I look at it! Well. How beautiful does that look? Oh my god, okay, I can't wait to get on the ice. I love ice skating. I've never been here before. I feel the Christmas magic already! Look at us with our cute little matching boots. We're so cute! We're about to get our ice skates. So, we got our ice skates on. Finally! Yay, finally! And uh, we're about to go on the ice! Here we go. Have you had any practice this year so far? Whoa! It doesn't help the too big! <laughs> Laura's boots are a little bit too big for her, bless her. You're going, babes, you're going. I'm trying to remember, once I get going, guys, I'll be fine. But at the beginning, I'm always a bit like, oh, really wet. It is very wet, I'm a bit shaky. Bye, Laura! <laughs> Oh my god, it's so busy. There's so many people keeping like on the outside, but I'm gonna, I'm taking the confidence. I'm just gonna go for it, do you know what I mean? Oh, guys, <laughs> this is so much fun, I love it. Where's Laura? Oh, she's all the way back there, guys. Let me stop off. I'll wait for her. Laura is stuck in a queue of people. Um, she won't let go of uh, the outside. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go meet her. I'm gonna go meet her. Look how gorgeous this is. What a beautiful afternoon. And then it's just got a beautiful uh, tree in the middle. It's so stunning. Let me, uh, let me go meet Laura. Where is she? She hasn't moved one bit. Look at the tree! Oh, it's beautiful, guys. I wish you could all skate with me here. Here she is. Laura, I'm coming for ya. You haven't moved much, have you, babe? <laughs> Grab my hand. Have the confidence. Have the confidence. Oh, no, my people do that. You are, you are, you got this. <laughs> Laura, if you slip, I'll get down with ya. I can't do that. Okay, we'll go over here. Come on, let go, let go, you got this, you got this, you got this. You got this, let go, let go, let go, you got this. <laughs> yeah, you got it! Go, Laura! Woohoo! <laughs> go on, Laura, skate. You got that whole runway for you. Right the way down. Yes, Laura. That's alright, lovely. So elegant, Laura, so poised. <laughs> Dancing on ice, here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> one day, babe, one day. <laughs> Baby! <laughs> Look at us in our cute little matching scarves. We're so cute. Oh, I love this, guys. Laura, look how good you are! For the last five minutes. Pro ice skater in no time. All you need is a little bit of confidence. Oh, I love this. I just, I can't deal with what a beautiful place this is. I can't believe it's their final year. I know, it's sad, isn't it? Because it's so beautiful, like the venue with the tree and the Natural History Museum, it's stunning. Look at her go. Yes, Laura! Go on, skate to the end. Skate to the finish line. <laughs> oh, sorry! 
<laughs> oh my god, Laura, you're right, babes. You're right, babes. Look at you under the Christmas tree. Oh. oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Our skating session has ended. I don't want to come off the ice. Oh, look at this tree. How beautiful is this tree? So gorgeous. Look how big those balls are, babe. Big old balls. <laughs> Yeah, do a spin, Carlin. Oh, a semi spin. Okay, I want to. I want to have a spin. You spin. I can't see. Yeah, are you in it? You right? <laughs> At least you didn't fall over. Jamie, I'm not off the ice yet. No, yeah, I was about to say, when you come off the ice. This bit's really slippy. It's, uh, it's really wet, guys. Do, 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 do. We are now feeling a little bit more fresh. It was very, very warm um, when we went to go back and put our boots back on, but we're now back in normal shoes. My feet don't hurt. Genuinely, my feet always ache. I find the boots, like the skating boots, so uncomfortable. But it's probably because I just like strap them on really quickly and because I just so, I'm just so excited to get on the ice. We have now just left. We are going to head to get some lunch and maybe like a little hot chocolate. Um, and look how beautiful the Natural History Museum is. So this is the ice rink that we've come to this year. Unfortunately, this is the last year, but there are some other really beautiful ice skating rinks in London, aren't there? Yeah. You've got Somerset House, yeah. Alexandra Palace. Yeah. I went to Greenwich last year, that was lovely. And um, yeah, I think I'm going ice skating again with Liam some point in December. We're just trying to work out um, what date. It was a wonderful experience. And considering we were 15 or so minutes late, we were actually saying that it was actually maybe in our favor to our advantage because we didn't have to wait in any queues to get onto the ice, to get our boots. It was very much a quick, 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 quick get in skate and then obviously we had like 40 minutes half an hour 40 minutes to skate so it was perfect and we're um, the last off huh and we were the last off and we were the last off exactly so we made we made every second and every minute count and obviously you can head over to my instagram to see the pictures that we took um, and the videos of me skating every single year i absolutely love skating and i would love to become maybe it's like a dream of mine to become like a professional yeah, skater maybe you'd be good at it i would be wouldn't i some speed on you. I do. I've got confidence. I've got speed. You're it's tall. just, and I'm tall. I've got the legs, yeah. the long legs. I don't know. Maybe it's something that I could look into in the future, or maybe I'm past my prime. Because what's that iconic ice skating film? The Disney oh, one. Ice Princess. Ice Princess. That That's gonna be me. That's gonna be me in a couple years, guys. I do wish I would do it more often because I do love it. I feel like if you did it more Real regularly, nap. yeah, you would get good at it. Oh my god, yeah. We have just popped into Le Pain Quotidien. I think that's how you say it. I'm really not too sure. Um, to pick up a little bit of lunch and a nice warm drink, and Laura and I have both gone for Belgian hot chocolate. They look unreal. Look at that. How delicious. I hope it's nice and creamy. Yeah, and chocolatey. Listen, if I'm paying £4.50 for a hot chocolate, it best be delicious. Um, and then uh, we've ordered a little bit of food. So Laura's gone for a cheeky little mince pie, which I might buy after my lunch because they do look delicious. It's like a... Like an almond crumble. Ah, oh, delicious. Um, and then I've gone for like a mozzarella focaccia. Good evening, my loves. So, as you can tell, it is pitch black. Um, what is the time, actually? 5 o'clock. 5 p.m. in the evening, and it's already this dark. Some really don't like it, but I personally love how like dark and cozy it gets because it feels like it should be like nine, ten o'clock yeah. but then it's like five o'clock and you realise how much of the evening you've got left so we have come to High Street Kensington area Kensington <laughs> Ooh. we have come to see 
a pub which basically has a million and one light up Christmas trees and I'll turn around the camera to show you in a second um, it genuinely looks so stunning and not gonna lie I could do with like a roast dinner a carvery something warm um, but excitingly Liam and I are going on a uh, Christmas little date this evening so we're gonna go to uh, the real Greek hopefully we'll have a beautiful evening I cannot remember the last time that we've been on a date together because obviously we've just been so busy and financially it's not actually one of those things that is really viable for us um, but obviously it is Christmas and because we've both been so busy and working so hard we thought we would treat ourselves and have a lovely lovely evening together the pub is called the Churchill Arms also another thing that's gone wrong um, my camera viewfinder has broken it's completely come off I've lost both screws um, which is so annoying so I'm having to hold on to it for dear life here is the gorgeous pub so it's the Churchill Arms in it's between Notting Hill and Kensington um, it's absolutely fabulous look how festive that is I am honestly in love with it it's just got gorgeous gorgeous light up Christmas trees and genuinely all the way round all the way round the entire pub there's just light up Christmas trees how magical what a lovely evening I'm still with Laura but we're about to say goodbye um, we've ended up in um, Notting Hill yeah. Portobello Market area um, we literally walked all the way from Kensington to here literally just following like a trail of Christmas lights yeah literally and it's such a beautiful evening um, and it was so like peaceful I mean you can hear loads of cars now because we're standing on a high street yeah. um, but it was just so nice like just talking and looking at all the Christmas lights and enjoying what a beautiful like evening it is um, but Laura's gonna go now it's the last time I'm seeing you Merry Christmas Merry Christmas I hope you have a lovely Christmas though. Yeah, you too. I'll text you on Christmas Day anyway. Yeah. Show me what you get. I hope it's full of joy, love and uh, Christmas cheer. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. I hope yeah. Santa, you've been a nice girl and Santa brings you all the goodies. Of course. <laughs> um, and yeah, we're going to depart now. See you soon. Bye. Rocking around the Christmas tree. Love you. Aww. There goes Laura. Another one bites the... Ooh. Another one bites the dust. Oh, that's quite morbid of me. Um, anyway, I am now going to head to Baker Street because I'm going to meet Liam for our Christmas date. And not gonna lie, I could do with some nice food and uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to just seeing him and just like having a lovely little romantic evening. So I will get on the tube now and I'll update you when we get there. What an evening it has been. We are now home. Um, Liam is Liam next, is to, next me. to me. He's eating some chocolate balls. Some chocolate balls. And um, um, our dinner was lovely. Dinner was lovely. Demon. I do not sound like that. No, no, no. Shouldn't you be packing or something like that? Why would you kick me out? <laughs> no. Guys, we're going home tomorrow for a couple of days. Like I said, I'm now home. I'm now with Liam, who is making so much noise. Oh! Why? I just want to talk to everyone. Why are you being so frustrating? We are home. Dinner was lovely. Um, I'd probably rate the real Greek like an eight out of 10. It was just nice to try something different, like a different sort of cuisine, because I'm not used to like eating a lot of tapas and it was delicious. Thank you to my Nan Karen, who actually gave us some vouchers to spend there, which is what influenced us to actually go there for a date night. Um, and it was, yeah, it was lovely. And we got a three course meal, we had some Prosecco and it was just a gorgeous little date. And then we came home, um, my phone died literally before we even got to the restaurant. If I'm honest, I feel absolutely knackered. I've done like 15, 16,000 steps today. Um, so my legs are definitely killing. Um, we've also just booked our booster jab. Um, so if you didn't know in the UK, all over 18s are now eligible to book their booster jab. So if you haven't already, I would 100% recommend that. Um, and I need to now sort out some bits and pack for tomorrow. So I'm gonna open Laura's card. So the reason why I'm doing this on camera is because Laura always normally 
buys the most spectacular cards in the entire world. Um, my card from Laura last year is actually now one of my mother's um, Christmas decorations because it plays music, it lights up, it's phenomenal. Um, <laughs> this is, oh my god, this is the most thickest card ever. It says, tis the season. Oh! Only Laura, <laughs> she must have spent at least six quid on this light up singing Christmas card. It's literally playing an entire song. Look at it guys. Oh, I'll be right. <laughs> there you go. It literally says, tis the season for silly jumpers. And then it's got this little um, funky felt uh, Christmas jumper on it. And then you press this little bottom bit down here. Oh no, down this way. And it lights up and sings Jingle Bells. Laura, every single year, you outdo yourself. Like, you absolutely outdo yourself. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. What on earth? I'm now going to put this pride, I can't even hang that, that's too heavy to hang. I'm gonna have to put that on display and use that now as an ornament, just like my mum. I'm gonna collect these over the years. I feel I now have to live up to my Christmas cards. Yeah, you do, babes. Laura, 100%, 2022 is gonna be our year, babes. Thank you so much for the lovely card, Laura. The gifts that she got me earlier, I just cannot wait. I can't see myself at all, guys, I'm so sorry. My viewfinder has decided. Let me show you what I'm literally having to deal with right now. So, my viewfinder is literally, there you go, Look at that. It's completely broken. It's completely fallen off. Um, so that's just, that's just brilliant, isn't it? That's just brilliant. So I'm walking into the new year with uh, a broken camera, which is just amazing. I mean, I have had this for two years. I got it two years ago for Christmas. Um, and obviously it's lasted me many a video, many a vlog. And um, to be fair, even though I do take very, very good care of it, I am a big klutz, so many a time I have dropped it, um, I fell over with it in my hand, um, just because I get carried away when vlogging and stuff, so it was only a matter of time before this happened. I'm going to try and fix it, but if I'm honest, it might have to be one of those, like, <clears throat> things that in the new year I have to save for to buy a new camera because like vlogging cameras are very expensive they're like four five hundred pounds plus so yeah that might be a new year investment I don't have the money at the moment but who knows I have been looking at one that's with Sony instead of Canon because I know a lot of YouTubers use the Sony vlogging camera as opposed to the Canon G7X um but yeah I don't know 2022 you never know what it might hold I might blow up on YouTube TikTok Instagram manifesting manifesting I can make it my full-time job please listen to me world I really want it to be my full-time god job um and then I'll be able to, uh, to obviously buy one. But for the moment, on my salary, with all my other financial obligations, a camera is unfortunately probably not in the mix. Um, but like I said, who knows? Anyway, that was a bit of a really random chat. I need to pack, I need to pack for tomorrow and Friday. Oh boy. I know, I can't be bothered either. I hate packing. I hate feeling like I'm moving, like moving stuff. Because then obviously when you pack up, you then have to come back and unpack. And it's just like, I like everything to be in one place. And especially what I'm going home for, it's not like I'm going away anywhere exciting. I'm literally going home for, you know, to be with family. It's just going to be, it's just going to be weird. Um, but I am going to sort everything out now. And um, yeah, hopefully we can get it done quickly and obviously we have more time to chill this evening good morning my loves so it is now a couple of days later and i'm actually going to be starting vlogmas day 11 which is the penultimate day of vlogmas um in a few hours once i am a little bit more dressed and uh, ready for the day um but i was just editing vlogmas day 10 and i completely forgot in the rush of everything because it was a very it turned into a very busy evening and then obviously the following days after that have just been a little bit all over the place very spontaneous a bit crazy a lot has been going on and obviously if you have been following my instagram then you'll have known what i went home for and what happened and i feel like i'm in a kind of uh, an okay position to kind of say that obviously um i went home to um lay my granddad to rest because if you didn't know a couple of weeks ago my granddad sadly passed away 
and it's been a hard few weeks. Obviously, you've only kind of seen one part of my life, but a lot, obviously a lot has been going on um, outside of what I've been filming. I've been feeling a lot of things, and it's been very up and down. It's been a roller coaster, but, you know, we're here, and I'm just so grateful, and I know that he would have wanted me to live with, like, no regrets, live each day as if it was my last, and that's what I've just been trying to do the most at the moment um so yeah the last few days have obviously been a lot um the funeral was a lot um like i said a couple of weeks ago i do want to kind of chat a little bit more about it when i feel like i'm emotionally kind of ready to maybe in the new year once everything's just settled down with this time of year today i'm feeling a lot better today is actually very very exciting but obviously you'll know um if you stay tuned for my vlogmas day 11 what's happening but yeah i just wanted to come out and sign out of this video i um know that it's a lot shorter of a vlogmas video so i hope you guys um liked that let me know if you prefer the longer vlogmas videos or the shorter ones i personally personally prefer one that's like a movie just because i can sit there with a nice cozy drink a mince pie a few snacks um and just watch watch vlogs but obviously i know that some people like the more kind of snappy videos um and if you do prefer like shorter videos come join me on tiktok at jamie directs um but yeah thank you so much guys for watching today's vlogmas video and vlogmas day 10 if you guys did enjoy it then don't forget to smash the like button and of course subscribe down below for more jamie day content for vlogmas day 11 and i will see you in a couple of hours but you will see me in vlogmas day 11 bye guys thank you for watching Mwah! Mm -hmm.